Hi guys, Simon here. I want to show you how to get the Cannonball Baroon achievement in Viking Swarf Clans by using the macro recorder from Jitbit. You can find the link for the macro recorder in the video description. Viking itself is played by me on the Plarium Play Launcher. Before we start, this is not a regular tutorial how to use the macro recorder. There are thousands of it already on YouTube. So let's begin. You can get this achievement by getting exiled from the valley of another clan. This graphic is from the website vikings.help. Link is also in the video description. Since you can automate two different actions to achieve this achievement, I divide them as follows. First of all, I ban the city from the valley. Second one, I jump to a specific point. Before we start, you should prepare two things. First, put a marker on the point where you want to banish or jump later. If you exile, you should check if you have en enough wax seals. You need at least 1000 pieces for once. You can buy these with gold or buy them in the clan shop. Now to point one. It includes clicking on the marks and selecting a mark. Then you jump to the point where you want to exile. If there is a city, click on exile and then confirm that. Here again as a scheme. We start on a global map, we click on the marks, we chose one and jump to that point. The point is selected, if there is a city on it, it will be exiled. That's now with the theory, now let's get into action. So first of all, my first action would be clicking on the landmarks. I will just put here the coordinates into it and then add a delay. One second, all right. Then I go on the landmarks and chose the first one or the one which is leading to the valley. All right, then I will add a delay and let's give it a try. All right, then I will just click on the coordinates which yeah, the city is currently on it. Adding a delay. And then I select the city. Then you see that I have here the exile button. So this is the one which we want to click as next. All right, adding a little delay and then we have to set another exile button for the confirmation. So now we're finished, we get everything back and let's give it a try. Okay, we go to the landmark, we go on exile, we confirm, and the city is gone. All right, it works only just one time, but we want to repeat this as much as possible. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a loop into it. We add a new delay. So in between those two, I put the repeat function three times at this point and just and here the loop. All right, so back again and let's give it a try. All right, at this point, it should work with the three clicks. It does, and there's nothing currently on it, but you have to check this as well. All right, it works. In the second part, to jump on a specific point on the global map, the scheme looks like this. We start on the global map, open the mark landmarks, we select one, we click on the field and confirm the move with yes. The script for this can be completely, so to say, copied from the first one with a little change. We just put the loop on the beginning, delete the second delay here, 
and have to change the coordinates for the last two mouse clicks. At this point, we want to put it on the apply button and the second one to the confirmation of the movement. Thanks again. And this should work. All right, we're finished. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I could help you with this achievement. Please subscribe. I will upload more tutorials like this in the future. Please also leave a comment and give it a thumbs up or down. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye.